What is up, MMA fans? This is Tudo Leonte for Your Dog here. And right now I'm here with UFC fighter Vince Morales. Hello, Vince, and welcome on Short Dog. How are you? Doing great, man. I appreciate you having me. And I appreciate you giving us a little bit of your time today. Uh, how are you? What are you doing right now? Doing real good. I'm just enjoying my Sunday right now. Um, had some coffee earlier, went on a little light run, and now I'm just hanging out for the rest of the day. So I like my Sundays like that. Um, the first topic that I would like to discuss with you is that you uh, moved to syndicate, syndicate MMA, and actually it has been a while since you switched camps. How are things going on down there? Uh, I'm, I'm loving it. I actually trained to syndicate like a five or six years ago, um, back when I, I had a Bellator fight. Um, huh? I, I trained there and I ended up going back to Boise just because that was home and everything. And then finally, I, I got myself to a point where I could make the move back and call Syndicate the home gym. And and here we are. The The transition's been great. John was a great head coach. Uh, there's a there's a handful of high level fighters and bandwidths for that matter that I get to train with on a regular basis. Uh, it's been great. I think, I think it's helped my, not my over, not, not just my game and my, in my development as a mixed martial artist, but my whole mindset and confidence going into fights and just going into everyday training and just really doing what it takes to be a professional. We are recording a few days after UFC VS 43 um that's so a couple of your teammates competing unfortunately yep. both nathan levy and joan wood lost their battles um mm -hmm. what do you think about their fights um i thought jojo had looked great early on um she was kind of every, everything that we'd been training and kind of um prepping for going into the fight she was she was executing like really well i kind of thought it was just gonna it was that's how it was gonna play out for the the rest of the time um, Santos was getting real close with the right hand before eventually she, she happened to tag her right on one of the exits and, and, uh, and some, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail as coach Wood says. And, uh, that's, that's just how things go sometimes. Uh, un unfortunately, I, I was real gutted for both of them. I, I see them on a regular basis. So I know how hard they work and how much they put into developing their craft and, and banking on, on a, a win in the future. So when you see people that you're close with that, that come up short, the, the sport's unforgiving and, and we all know that and it is what it is, but uh, still can't help but feel a little gutted for them. Um, I don't think, I don't think that's going to be the end of that though, just because I know how both of them are. And anytime that there's any sort of animosity in the gym, they, they actually end up getting better. I'm assuming this is going to be, you're just going to see more of that. I know this is Natan's first loss as well. Um, Usually what that means for most people, it's especially younger guys like him, uh, they come back better. They get better. They get stronger. They get faster. They, they, it's, it's easier to recognize mistakes when there's a loss versus when there's a win. So there's a lot of growth that can be made going forward from now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure as well they will have plenty of occasion to bounce back and, yes. uh, you know, return to the win column. Um, mm -hmm. But you... You know, you are coming off a unanimous decision over Draco Rodriguez back in uh, August. Um, while you took the victory home that night, you also looked a bit frustrated about things, about how things played out. Is mm -hmm. that so? Yeah, that, that's that's pretty accurate. I was I was pretty verbal on that because uh in, in, in my mind, from everything I'd seen on Draco, I was expecting him to, to come forward and we were going to have a a pretty pretty much a slugfest, which which for me, I, I think I shine in those moments and I was really expecting that. And and, I, and I've yet to get a big highlight reel finish in the UFC. And that's that's what I, that's what I've been after. And that's what I was expecting going into that fight. Um, so w when I when I couldn't get that that ex those exchanges to happen on a regular basis and take advantage of those accordingly, I. Uh, I ended up getting frustrated towards the end because like I felt like I, I'd, I'd done enough. I I'd controlled enough. I landed enough combinations, enough shots, enough strikes. Um, still, just because how I am, I'm a competitor and I always want the best. And I don't think that that was my best. And I'm still I'm still pushing for that. So, uh, 
yeah, that, that, that's why you can see it in my face kind of immediately after I was, uh, I was frustrated. I, I'm, I'm trying to make, make my, I want to make my name stay in the division and, and I want people to, to start recognizing. Um, and, and I, I wasn't sure if I had done that based on their performance at the time. Um, I think it's starting to get recognized now. I know the type of problems that I'm going to be for a lot of people. Um, it's just waiting for that right moment. You will have your next chance to put the UFC Bantaway division on alert when yes. you will take on Luis Smolka at UFC on ESPN 31. Um, what do you think about this matchup uh, skill-wise? Uh, skill-wise, I like the matchup. Um, uh, Smolka's a tough dude. I know he's been... He's had like 15 or something UFC fights, which is which is awesome. I mean, I mean, th those are the kinds of kind of guys I want to fight. They've been around for a minute. Uh, they've fought some of the best guys in the in both divisions because they used to fight a flyweight as well. Um, I'm I'm ex I'm excited for it. I think uh, I think he's just enough of a dog that it's going to bring that out of me as well. And I think we're going to have a real fun fight. Um, I was half expecting his 15 fights to put us a little higher up on the card, but they just released the bout order and we're like the first fight. So. It's okay. I get, I get to go, go out there, go out there, handle business and enjoy the rest of the card. So um, T minus 13 days right now. I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, do you think that he will uh, come out, you know, and, and play, let's put it like this, or, you know, er, es, exchange with you the way you want, the, the way you want it with uh, Rodriguez? I, th I think so. I, everything I've seen, everything I've seen of Smoka, he likes to get in people's face and he likes to be there and, and he likes to make sure, make his presence known. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do to him. Um, I've actually trained over at Team Oyama's in California, not with him directly, but uh, with some of those guys in the past. And, uh, and I know how Coach Oyama um, feels about his guys and the, the mindset that, that he tries to instill in them. And I think Smoke is a good example of that. And I think he's going to come out there and we're just going to get right after it, which is, which is great. That's, this is what I'm looking for. I'm trying to get tested. I'm trying to bring out the best in myself. And I think he's somebody that can do that. How do you see this fight going? Um, in, in, in my mind, when, when I envision it, um, I see me, I see me landing a little more on the feet. I see him trying to push me up against cage and dragging me down. I don't see it being successful. I see me hurting him. At, towards the end of the first round and he makes a mistake and dives in and I end up surprising some people with some of my jiu-jitsu because I've been working on that for a long time and I've yet to show that in any of my UFC fights so I think that's something that's going to kind of fly under the radar in this fight and I, I want to make that known I'm, I'm ready for that like he, he's a guy who's he's got great jiu-jitsu himself so if I can put put mine out there and put somebody away like that with with his own skill set really um I think people are start, going to start taking notice. How is your weight cutting going? Easy money right now. I'm, I'm a one, I woke up today at 148, so I'm oh. 12 pounds over, nothing yet. Um, I haven't missed a meal. I, I cut out beer and hot Cheetos, and all of a sudden my weight drops like 10 pounds. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that that's a, quite a sacrifice, you know, to cut out <laughs> beer. But it is what it is. <laughs> you have yeah. to pay the price for at least for a, a few days. Yeah, exactly. And 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 I'm okay with that. It's a it's something I actually like to do, like a couple months out, just to just to get myself in discipline mode and uh, and really recognize that that I'm sacrificing some things that I enjoy for the bigger picture right now. You moved up and down between featherweight and bantamweight recently. You know, in your latest couple of fights. Um, are you staying at 135? Yeah, I'll, I'll be staying at 135. Uh, the only reason that I had that fight at featherweight, and that was actually against Gutierrez, who's also another bantamweight. We, we both took that on 10 days notice, and okay. they just didn't want to have us have to worry about a cut. So we did that. Um, it wasn't a much of a big deal to me. I've had half of my career is at 145, so it wasn't it wasn't that big of a deal. I was I was kind of okay with it. Uh, that means I only cut like three pounds because I don't walk around once I'm in fight camp and dieting and everything, I don't walk around very heavy. So, but, um, in order to be competitive with like the highest level guys, I know I'm going to have to stay abandoned weight. So I'll be here. The card that you're fighting on is headlined by the clash between Jose Aldo and, uh, Rob Font. Um, in your opinion, who is going to win that fight? Man, that's a, that's, a, that's a tough one to me that it comes down to, 
who's going to be more effective? Is it going to be Font's jab or all those leg kicks? Because the one thing that cancels out a good jab is leg kicks when they're stepping heavy on that lead leg. So I'm I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm I really can't wait to see who can who can set those things up better and and really start to pull ahead. Um, I got to go with the legend Jose Aldo. I mean, I've been watching him. We fought on the same card in Houston last time. And uh, at one point, I remember walking behind him being a little starstruck because I've been watching him since before I was even training. I mean, he's been around forever. And it's crazy to think he's only, what is he, 34 now? Some, something like that. He, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. Not that, he's, he's not still that young. much older than him. Yeah, he's still young. Um, yeah, it, it was crazy. But uh, he's shown some real good things at Bantamweight. Uh, his fight with Peter Yan was amazing. I th I thought he had him until till the end when he started getting a little tired but uh i think I, aldo's something special and i think that's what we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see him reminding people how special he is sir before i let you go do you would you like to share something else with us do you have any last message uh just make sure you tune in tune in early i think we're i think the fights start i'll have to double check again because i was just looking at it but uh that's 4 p.m pacific time so that's It's fairly, it's a fairly early card. I'm early on that. I'm trying to leave, leave that bone. I'm trying to get that fight of the night bonus early for me. So that's not a fight that I, I think people are going to want to miss. Um, I just want to give a thank you to my management and all my sponsors that have been helping me throughout this camp. Um, I, I literally just moved into just got a new house. So it's, I'm, I'm at another point in my, in my life. And I want that to show in the fight. Does that make sense? So I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, yeah, really yeah. Look, I'm looking forward to this fight. Uh, I, I think it's going to be, it's, it's going to be big and um, yeah. Just thank you to everybody supporting me and tuning in. Sir, best of luck with your upcoming fight. Congratulations or on your new home. And uh, <laughs> I wish you, you know, to celebrate as with as much beer as possible after <laughs> <laughs> your, your victory. And I wish you a good day as well. I uh, appreciate that, Tudor. Thank you. You have a good one as well. <laughs> have a nice day. Bye-bye.